Hey, Navy Doc 5184 here. Welcome to my next reaction to Star Wars The Clone Wars. We are going with Season 2, Episode 16, Cat and Mouse. For those of you that are new, thank you for stopping by and checking out the channel. For those of you that are returning, thank you so much for coming back. I am so glad you decided to return. Really looking forward to going on this journey with everybody. If you enjoy the content, feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and definitely feel free to leave a comment um, below. All of those things help the channel out greatly, and I appreciate all the support you all give. So, um, to get things started, um, I know in my last Clone Wars reaction, I said I was just going to go in the order of Disney+, Plus, but I've gotten you know, more than a few requests to do them in chronological order, and I did find a list. Um, for the chronological order of the episodes, so we're gonna actually start doing that. I will leave my current ones up there. I'll obviously skip those once I get to them, but either which way, from here on out, we are going in chronological order. So that might actually help me uh, follow the story a little better. So should be a good time either way. From what I have seen so far, this has been a magnificent series. I love what they're doing with it. Even with the episodes being as short as they are, they got so much action, so much story. And the thing that I love the most about it is it doesn't, you know, at least to me, it doesn't feel like it retcons anything that has already been established. And I know that was one of my worries really going into it because I'm like, how can you do a series for this long without screwing up a story that's already been established so far? But not only have they done true to the story I feel like they haven't done anything that has really I guess you could say gotten in the way of it and I mean so far you know the only new I guess you could say new character that I've really uh, seen is Ahsoka but you know I love the fact that I'm seeing the Jedi's relationship with the clone troopers which as I said before just already makes order 66 that much more heartbreaking because you're seeing how much both sides really are really trusting them with their lives and yet at a simple order the clones turn on the jedi and you know just seeing how ahsoka and obi-wan you know turned out where you could tell they were absolutely devastated with everything this kind of helps explain why because these are people that you trust with your lives you would give your life for that when you've lost some you mourn their losses you know you felt those losses and then without even thinking about it, they turn on you i mean how does anybody deal with that so i love seeing that relationship and i think something that i didn't mention before is so far this feels like this enhances the story that's already out there because as bad as Order 66 felt anyways, this seems to make it feel even worse. So enough talking for me. We're going to go ahead and get to the original episode. If you'd like to see a full reaction, feel free to check out my Patreon. Um, I'll have full watch longs on there. You just have to have a copy for yourself. If you got Disney Plus, you'll have access to all of these. Let's go ahead and get started. And we're out of food, water, and munitions. Our situation is desperate. Senator Organa? Senator uh, Organa. That's not a good start. Pull forward shields. Yes. Or maybe evasive action. That'd be nice too. Fire all forward cannons. Oh, who Come is this? Those Republic supply ships. And it smells good. Alright, he gives me the creeps a little bit, not gonna lie. Yep, yep. That's nothing out of the ordinary, especially <laughs> since I gave him a direct order not to. To be fair, I wouldn't say he engaged. Hold the line. Intensify forward deflectors. Man, not even three minutes in. I'm like, how did I get out of this? Man, those ships are getting wrecked. I brought a new toy that might give us an advantage. With respect, General, now might not be a bad time to regroup. And I can. We'll cover their retreat as they escape behind the moon. I don't like this. I hope Obi-Wan knows what he's doing. I'm sure he does. I know in my last one I kept saying trust the Padawan, but when we're talking about Obi-Wan Kenobi, you can trust him. If there is any Jedi I would trust above all, it'd be Obi-Wan Kenobi. Recycle the shields and let the cannons reset 
to a full charge. And the enemy will soon return. And when they do, we shall be ready. Whew, I don't like this cat. I hope this toy that Obi-Wan was talking about is uh, effective. Very curious to see what he has in store. Tell me about this new weapon. You're looking at it. I'm looking at what? Two steps forward and you'd actually be kissing it. It's a stealth ship. I need you to run a mercy mission down to the planet's surface. The ship can carry enough supplies for Senator Organa's headquarters. Oh, I'm still the delivery boy? It's more important yes. to save lives than destroy ships. I need you to continue the mercy mission. Anakin? Why do I have a feeling I'm going to be scolding Anakin like this a lot? I did it before just with trying to get him to listen to Ahsoka. Now I'm doing the same thing with him trying to listen to Obi-Wan Kenobi. It can't be him. Tell General Skywalker to hold his departure. Yes, sir. Okay, so what's so special about him? Apparently, uh, this dude means serious trouble, but... I believe the opposing commander is none other than Admiral Trench. Yep. The last time I saw that symbol, well, let's just say I lost a lot of good men that day. He tore our ships apart. We barely escaped with our lives. In the end, a Jedi-led task force moved in to settle the matter. Trench's ship was destroyed. And we assumed he went down with it. Oh, apparently he did not. Yes. I am volunteering my services as consultant, General. Welcome aboard. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? I've got a really bad feeling about this. I have a feeling that Anakin is not going to fully adhere to the mission. I'm going to breeze right past. I mean, good on it for getting the deliveries, but I'm not going to lie. I already done forget his name. I know I've seen him more than a few times. I'm a little worried about that Admiral being involved because he's probably going to talk Anakin trying to attack. What is the status of the assault on Christopsis? Resistance is crumbling, sir. Send the hyena bombers to hit Senator Organa on the surface. That does not sound pleasant. Hyena bombers. Why are they called hyena bombers? Oh. Oh. We got torpedoes and anti-aircraft cannons, sir. But we'd have to decloak to use either. Yeah, and if they don't know we're here, that would give our position away pretty quickly. They're not going for you anyways. We're not going on the offensive, dude. They missed us. They don't know we're here. They're heading for Pale Organa in the command center. They're going to bomb it. Okay, I'm already getting annoyed with this dude. He's going to talk Anakin into doing something stupid. We can't hold out any longer. There's little chance for survival. Help us, General Kenobi. You're our only hope. They had to do that, didn't they? Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Continue with your mission to the planet's surface. I will engage Trench's fleet with the ships I already have. You'll be walking into a trap. He's right, Master. You won't stand a chance. Now stay on course Your and... tactic won't work. Prep torpedo tubes one through four. Fix... Oh, Lord. We need to destroy Trench. And this ship has the best chance of doing that. I want those I mean, supplies he's... on the surface now. The sad thing is, neither of them are wrong. This is unusual. What can they be planning? You realize our <laughs> torpedoes may not be enough. All I want is for Trench to think about us instead of the people on the planet below. It's time to introduce ourselves. See, this is worrisome. I completely understand Anakin's thinking here, but... Ooh. Sometimes I just don't know. He just feels too reckless and eager for battle sometimes. Fire. If this doesn't work, torpedoes locked and closing. Activate the shields. 
I did it too early. No, Anakin. Recloaking in nine, eight. That might not be enough. Pilot, prep the flares. Too late, General. Launch flares. And cloak. Oh, please tell me this works. Whew. I'm not gonna lie, I did not see him what this accomplished. And it's probably gonna be about ten minutes before I do. No clone could successfully fly through that many lasers. We are dealing with a Jedi. Oh boy. This isn't good. If you are listening, Jedi, you've made a bold move and a grave mistake. I appreciate your decision to face me ship to ship to play this little game. Oh man, this is not it's not making me feel good. While you can, for I am your doom. You are right, Admiral. There are records of Trench's battles, and a few against ships with cloaking devices. Maybe he's tracking the magnetic signature. Thanks, Obi-Wan. Hold off your attack until we destroy Trench. Might I remind you that this was not your mission? You might. Admiral, prepare to disengage cloaking device and fire. Oh my lord. How they haven't fought before Revenge of the Sith, I don't know. Lock us onto that ship's magnetic signature. Okay, so Anakin called that. So what are you gonna do with that knowledge? Lower shields and fire! Lowering shields. Maybe that's the plan? General. I really hope you know what you're doing. So do I, Admiral. So do I. That's another great thing about this show. General, the cloaking device is active, but they're locked onto our magnetic signature. He took the bait. I know exactly what he's about to do. I think. He's going right for that ship. And probably at the last minute, he's going to dip. Raise the shields! We cannot. The shields are still recharging. Brilliant! It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. <laughs> wow! Freaking awesome! Good job, Adam. <laughs> We're beginning our attack on the Separatist fleet. Have fun. I'll be delivering the supplies to the surface, Master. <laughs> I love how he just will still shook his head. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that was a brilliant plan. Well, you'll find I like to do things uh, differently from time to time. That's an understatement. The Chancellor mentioned as much. Though he insisted it was the highest compliment. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Wow. All right, y'all. That was Clone Wars Season 2, Episode 16, Cat and Mouse. And that was a fun episode. Not gonna lie. And it was something that I, I know I was at least thinking it. I don't remember if I said it, but that's just another thing that is great about this series is even though obviously Anakin has to find a way out of that, otherwise he wouldn't make it to the Revenge of the Sith movie or become Darth Vader and all that stuff. So you know that somehow he's gonna get out, but yet this gets you so sucked in, you kind of forget about it. Like here I am like, how the hell does he get out of this? And sure enough, you know, it's like, I know he does, but it's got me like, how? 
it's absolutely amazing. They do such a great job with the writing on this show. And, you know, like I said, the the banter between Obi-Wan and Anakin, it's like, how in the world did they not get at each other's throats before the end fight in Revenge of the Sith? But at the same time, it's kind of cool to see that relationship too. It is almost kind of like a brother relationship. You know, you're just at each other's throats constantly, but at the same time, it's kind of like when you two work together, who can beat you? You know, anybody that has a brother that you're close to can completely understand it, I'm sure. I know sometimes I feel the same way about my brother. You know, it's like, well, as many times as we were at each other's throat as kids, but at the same time, when we got together and worked together, man, it didn't feel like there was anybody that could stop us. So, I, it's totally cool to see that relationship and again just the clone troopers you know just seeing them not just in action but it feels like we're really kind of getting to see their personalities and it's just it sucks because every time I look at it it's like man we know they're about to turn on them but you see how jubilant they got when they won and it's just like wow I mean obviously they don't turn on Anakin because Anakin you know, lead some, you know, once Order 66 goes down, but, you know, it's just, dang, man, it just sucks to see because here I am, you know, I'm going to start getting attached to all these clone troopers and they're either going to be in a group that dies or a group that turns against us. And it's just like, ugh, man, 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 this, who? Who would have thought that a show like this would be so great? You know, when you already have an established story and then trying to add fresh takes to it, it is amazing how they did this, you know? And I don't think I can say enough good things about what I've seen so far. I think this is only the fourth reaction I've done to Clone Wars so far, and already it's turning into one of my favorite things in Star Wars, period. Ugh, wow. I'm, I'm just stunned. I'm stunned. I love it, and I cannot wait to do more. It is going to be an awesome journey, and honestly, I'm glad you all are here with me. So um, if you'd like, feel free to check out my other Clone Wars reactions and even other Star Wars reactions. Uh, once again, thank you all for stopping by, and I will catch you for the next episode.